Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design steel connections in STAD Pro using RAM connection. In this video, we will show you how to design beam and column splices for their shear and moment reactions. We will now turn our attention to our sample model. This particular model contains one beam splice and one column splice for demonstration purposes. Let's start with our beam splice. In the main window, I'm now going to select my Select Joints tool, and I'm going to ask the program to select all beam splice joints. What the program is going to look for is two beams that are interconnected and collinear, where no other member frames in at that particular joint location. Here you can see I have a node in the middle of this beam span. I'm now ready to assign a connection, and we're going to start with the shear component of the reaction. In my Connection Design tab in my ribbon toolbar, I'm going to find my basic connection command, and then I'm going to select an appropriate template. I'm going to find or look for a template family that has BS at the end, meaning beam splice. And for the shear reaction, I'm going to go with a single plate, BS beam splice, and this connection is capable of resisting shear forces at that location. I'm going to select all the templates that I want to use as a candidate for the connection design, and then move them over to the selected window. A connection has been assigned to that joint, so we'll go ahead and click Close. In addition to the shear reaction, this location also has a moment reaction. So let's go ahead and take care of the component of that reaction. In the Connection Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, I'm going to return to the Basic Connection command, find my Beam Splice commands, and this time I'm going to go with a flange plate. Again, I'm going to select all of my templates that I want considered for the design. I do have bolted options and also welded options. I'm going to select bolted options with 3 quarter inch diameter bolts. Once I've identified the templates I want to be considered, I'm going to move them over to the selected window and then we'll again click OK. Now I must resist both shear forces and moment reactions at this joint, so I've selected a connection that can resist shear and a connection that resists moment. I don't want to erase the shear connection that I've already assigned to this joint, so for this example I'm going to say no, I don't want to replace the existing connection. Now I've taken care of the moment reaction and my status is OK. If I wanted to take a look at each of these reactions, I can just double click on the joint and here I can see my single plate shear connection. I can also take a look at my flange plates which are resisting the moment reaction. Now let's move forward and identify our column splice location. Again I'm going to use my select joints command and I'm going to ask the program to select any column splices. Here I have three column splices on this job, and actually my column does change size as it goes up. Again, it's going to look for a vertical member that has a joint in the middle with no member framing into it at that location. Again, we're going to resist a shear in a moment reaction, so I'm going to start with the shear. I'm going to use a basic connection template to accomplish this. I'm going to look for a connection family with CS at the end for column splice. To take care of the shear reaction, I'm going to select a single plate, and then I'm going to identify all of the connection templates within this group or table that might work for me. Three connections were assigned. They are all giving me a status of OK. Let's take care of the moment reaction now. Again, I'm going to use a basic connection template. 
and I'm going to select a flange plate column splice. Again, I have welded or bolted options, and I'm going to select a bolted option. I am not going to replace the shear connection, so I'll click No to All. And now I've assigned some column splice connections. Again, I can review any of the connections that were assigned by just double clicking on them. Here I have my shear single plate connections for my column splice. You can see my column did change size. And I also have my moment connections assigned. This concludes our process for assigning beam splices and column splices in STAD Pro. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.